What is UV, ultraviolet radiation? Why do sunglasses protect against it? And what does that mean when I'm shopping for a new pair of glasses? What are you really looking for here? Hey, my name is Sunglass Rob. I'm here at SportRx. I've been in the eyewear industry for 27 years. I'm an optician and I love sunglasses. And we're gonna talk about UV and polarization and visible light transmission and how all of this might relate to you picking out your next pair of sunglasses. So UV light, you probably know, is bad for your eyes. and True sunglasses are supposed to block 100% of UV light. UV light comes down from the sun and it comes in a wavelength range of 250 to 400 nanometers. That's why you see like blocks 100% of UV light up to 400 nanometers. There's actually more than one kind of UV light. We think about UVA, which really can affect your macula, which is not fun at all. That can mess up your central vision. There's also UVB, which affects the cornea, but you really want to protect against UV light. Now, by the way, all the sunglasses you get at SportRx are going to be 100% UV protective. So that's already a given, but you might think of it's like a cloudy day, so you don't need shades. Actually, UV light penetrates a lot through clouds. Uh, even if it's like the most cloudy day there is, it's still going to get about 30% of UV light coming down. So overexposed amounts of time, that UV light can damage your eyes for sure. And then if you're in other types of condition where it's almost like you're getting more because off of the water, off of snow, off of sand, you're getting reflection, right? Because it's coming from the sun and now it's also coming up from the ground. So long-term damage from UV light, your cataracts can come faster. You can get cornea damage. You can kind of get a sunburn in your eye, uh, macular degeneration, which is one of the most painful things anyone can ever go through. Of course, some levels of UV light are good for you as a human being. You need it for vitamin D production. It can improve your mood, you know? <laughs> A nice sunny day. Uh, you get a little bit of energy out of that. But I think sometimes people mistake what's really going on with sunglasses. Like, I want the most protection. That doesn't mean 100% UV versus 80% UV. The way you get more protection is through how dark the lens is. So if you have really light sensitive eyes, you might want a darker lens. Now we're talking about visual light transmission. A really dark lens would only let in about 9% of light, where if you live in an overcast place and you want to block that UV light and that like ugly blue kind of haze, you might want to get a lighter lens, like a rose lens that lets in 20% of light. Even clear lenses like I'm wearing here, these are 100% UV protection because they are polycarbonate lenses which are always UV protected. So don't confuse UV and like brightness. Those are kind of different things. So all the glasses are gonna be 100% UV, but that doesn't mean they're gonna, uh, if you have light blue eyes and you're in Florida and it's a sunny day and you're on the water, uh, these aren't gonna make you feel like Oh, my eyes feel good. For something like that, you might want polarization. Polarization actually cuts out reflective glare. And that's really the only thing that could cut out like harsh reflective glare. So like when the sunlight comes down from the sun and it bounces off of the water and that like glare ball is coming at you, polarization actually filters out that vibration and that glare. So if you're looking for ultimate protection, Think about darker lenses, think about lenses with mirror coatings, think about wraparound lenses, and think about polarized lenses. Those are the ways you're gonna get like more brightness protection, but again, you always want UV protection. And not all sunglasses are made the same. A lot of times those like, uh, we call them Folkleys, like fake Oakleys, or you know, those gas station glasses, those have stickers on them that say UV protection, but a lot of tests have shown that those don't have full UV protection. They have a lot of distortion. And also, in my opinion, it's like the worst thing you can do is wear a dark pair of glasses that don't have UV protection because your pupil opens up more when you put on something dark and now you're getting UV to come through a distorted lens that's not UV protected and your pupils opened up more because of that dark lens. Like, this is no good. <laughs> Make sure you're getting proper good glasses. Again, everything at SportRx is always gonna be UV protective. If you're not sure how dark of a lens you need or if you need polarization or not for your specific sport or your specific use, you can always call us or leave a comment down in the comment section or chat with us or read some of our blogs. We're really into helping you get the best pair of glasses you ever had in your life. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and follow us on Facebook. Later.